What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Eats Kaya podcast. This is the Mushoku Tensei weekly review. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello! And next, we have Ku. Yo, yo. All right, so this is episode 20 of Mushoku Tensei, part of the, the second season airing right now. And I'm um, also sorry, I start to just want to give shout outs to all of, of course, all the comments we've already had over this whole season. Thanks, guys. Always Thanks appreciate that. Shout out to Stren for, for <laughs> commenting on them as well. And then also, just a reminder, we do have a Discord available. So you check the description, you can join us there. We talk about um, Mushoku there, we talk about other animes during this week as well. So feel free to join Discord and join the discussion that we've been having this season. So if anybody wa- else is watching Osama Ranking, please talk to me. <laughs> yeah, man. The man's lonely. <laughs> He's very lonely. <laughs> the show's so good. Let's move on to, to this week's episode of Mushoku. So I guess technically this is like the end of the the, Sh- the Shiro and like Kingdom arc because we basically <laughs> solved it in this episode. We David, hold on. Like, what, before we go any further, I just have to say I found my spiritual anime character in this episode. Who will oh, tell I, me I, more? I can't, I can't wait to talk about it. Uh, talk about it more later. I just have to. Mention do you want to talk about it just now? No, I, mean... I had to basically just mention him at the beginning of it. That's all I wanted to do. And we'll get to it. <laughs> so... <No>, okay. <laughs> I apologize. So I guess. Yeah. So I guess we'll go, we'll go brief summaries, but I mean, this episode, like, basically, we, we just, I don't know, just like, it, it got, re- got resolved by, you know, the other prince who basically threatened <laughs> Pax, because he was born of superhuman strength, but he was, like, you know, obsessed with, like, the figure and, it, it, like, the carvings, and I don't know. Understandable. And, like, and, I mean, we did have, like, Rougier, like, trying to, I mean, he was about to raid the castle like I wanted last episode, but then... <laughs> He saved the family anyway, so he saved the family. And you know, Ginger, like you were saying, Shren, she was, you know, she was, she wanted to help out all along, that. and she pledged, she pledged her loyalty to, um, to, to the what, what's the guy's name? Zan, the overpowered prince. Zan, like Dora or Zanoba. Zanoba, okay. Yeah, so she, she pledged loyalty to him, and then you know, if they find, if they find Aisha and and Ilya, so I mean, that's basically like. The summary that what what happened in this episode. Well, well, yeah, next, so oh. oh no, uh so just wanted to point out too, this actually turned out to be different than how they did it in the manga. Um there was actually supposed to be some sort of small castle rush, and then basically what happened was uh when they were like storming the castle, they happened across the room that Sonoba was in, and then that's when they had their conversation and uh, that's when they figured out that you know, like Rudy was like the maker of the dolls, and that's why he wanted him to be his master. Sounds so much better. Uh, that sounds so yeah. much better. And, and, and then actually, there Ginger and them was actually supposed to like fight off Rudy and them, uh, but then like Ruger and uh, I think it was Ruger and Eris fought them, but then they noticed that like Ginger and the others was going easy on them, like they were letting them win, and they're just letting them get away. So I, I think. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping that maybe they would play it out somehow in this scene, but it looks like they kind of went more of a pacifist, pacifist route with with this uh, with the anime adaption. So that was a little weird. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, just just I mean, just straight for me, it's just like this kind of like I, I mean, I was just disappointed in this episode. This is like the most like disappointed I've been with Mushoku so far. Just like I was mm. just hyping myself up so much from last episode, and like I kept thinking like, okay, this will be the arc that I'll finish off the season and then it kind of felt like but <laughs> if it felt like we we're building these up, things up and then just we just solved it right away and uh-huh. it didn't feel good that being resolved like just it felt so weird like having just like <laughs> Sanchez and Dora just being obsessed with a figure that's that's a solution that's how like we solve like Rudy being trapped in this barrier I don't know I don't know <laughs> <this one. laughs> I mean it was still a fun way they did it though yeah. like I, I still enjoy it from what you've said, Ku, I actually pr- would probably prefer it that way. Um, mm-hmm. But like from like the last episode, where we just kind of, where it, if where I, I think I mentioned before, it just kind of felt like a comedy situation, where it didn't feel like as uh, as intense or as a, as like a you know you would think like being held hostage would be. Mm-hmm. But it's just like how they came off, how they rubbed it off on that way. But for then for this one though, I thought it actually worked out with the tone that I sent last episode. I wasn't really, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't really like. It's first that like when they were first showing like those flashbacks as to how um the I'm blanking on their names the the maid Leah? and her daughter Leah and Aisha yep and yeah basically like how they appeared there and just how like that ridiculous thing kind of happened where like oh like Roxy's here they just immediately throw them in prison 
And then uh-huh. I just kept thinking, like, I was just like, man, this is the worst villain of all time. <laughs> and then I just thought it was just useless. So, I, but the entire time, I, I wasn't really taking things too serious, just because of like, you know, there's Ares and Rougeard, and then we find out that there's like another superhuman dude that just ends up being uh, <laughs> obsessed with figures. I agree with you, David. Where it felt like it almost was like a filler episode with canon elements, where like the episode itself felt like it could have been filler, but then th- there was elements that, that carried the story forward. Not like you know, basically know. just like with the figure stuff with the guy. Like even though I appreciated the guy and I thought the entire thing was hilarious, and they just like the intense, like the intense details we're talking about the figures and kind of like the back and forth about how like, oh yeah, I removed the mole, and then he's just like, you what? You removed the mole, and then he basically just dropped knowledge onto him as like what that mole actually was. That, that, that entire thing I enjoyed. <laughs> you amateur. Yeah. How could you not know? I mean, because because like. So far, we should pretend to say, like, the pay has been really good with their foreshadowing. Like, I really, like, everything else, like, I really enjoy, like, how they've they've done it. Whereas here, just, like, it was weird. Yeah. the payoff was, was just, like, was just, just, just Rudy, just, I don't know, just felt like, like, a lucky coincidence that, like, he happened to be, like, a <laughs> good, like, figures. what, what, you know, a figure maker out of wood. And just, like, this, the prince happened to be really, like, in love with this, this figure. So it just... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't feel the payoff this time. That's why I'm more disappointed. Like, are the figures wood? They look like wood. I don't. Oh, I thought they were like. Or is it clay? Like okay. Clay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was wood, but it's... so it's like I oh, believe it's just clay. basically clay but... mannequins or figures or whatever. Okay. Yeah. okay. But even still, just anyway, like that's not a, that's not a I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't feel that the payoff this time. And then even still, like all we did was like we. I mean, I guess. I guess I could see it later on, like, yeah, we, like, they got rid of, like, Pax and Zendora, so I guess there's, you know, maybe, like, later on, like, the kingdom will be friendly to Rudy and, and his, and, like, his team, but, like, just, so. just right now in this moment, like, yeah. And also, just thinking, too, like, we had that flashback in the beginning with, with Aisha and Lilia. I, it just showed them right away, like, going to, to Shiro and Kingdom, where it's, like, everyone got transported at the same time. You, you had, Paul's flashback where he was struggling so much for a year and not getting anything done. Whereas like it just like quickly showed Lilia and I should just them just walking along this path and then they then they made it to the Shiron Kingdom right away. So it felt like it was, things were being cut out there too, where like they sh- I'm pretty sure it took them longer than a year to get to that kingdom. Unless they were trapped in there for more than a year or something. But okay. then it wasn't then it wasn't clear from the flash the flashbacks. Uh to be honest with you, I didn't see much info about it during the manga. So it might have so been it, something in a side story or something. So I'm just like saying, like compared compared to Paul, where we saw how much he struggled for for that the time that everyone was missing. It seems like they skipped over that part with like with Lilia and Aisha. Like I feel like there's there should be more that we're not getting. Well, to be fair, if you were to throw in everyone's point of view, the the show would not progress at all. So I, I guess. like I like uh, like we were mentioning earlier, I was I was really surprised that they were showing so much of like Rossi's point of view. Uh, compared to the others, that uh, I thought that it was going to be a very slow-paced season, but it looks like at this point, they're starting to just wrap up everything, right? Even if Paul didn't really get, like, the time that he deserved, you know, Aisha and Lilia, they didn't really get the time that they deserved. Um, I mean, it's, I guess that's just the the decision that they chose going forward. Uh, I guess, yeah, like, I, I get your point saying, like, you can't focus on every new character. That's just, the, mm-hmm. I guess, this episode specifically is just why, like, it's just... Uh, it's just not vibing with me. So now yeah. I'm just gonna wait for the next because we have like what three episodes left or something. I don't even know, but like perhaps three, feels, four. I don't know. Like Maybe it just four. makes me worry that, that like we're running like we're not gonna have enough time for like a big finale. So oh, oh, it's three. Yeah, three, three more. It's three. Well, I know we have an I mean, OVA, I guess, I guess but they're, that's they're, not gonna really help they're... the story. Yeah, Probably yeah, not not, not not counting the OVA, but like I guess yeah. there are in general has been three episodes, so we could. Get the big payoff, but not really. It usually, it's just usually, only two episodes, so I well, it usually there are three episodes, yeah, yep, around that time. But usually in anime, like it gets me worried, but we'll see what happens with Mushoku Tensei. Overall, it did, it definitely just felt different from like what we've seen of Mushoku Tensei. The conversations in between just the maid and their his uh, sister was uh, was kind of was touching at the end, so that was actually kind of nice. But first, mm-hmm. like, I kind of first thought when when she was saying, like, oh, can I join your party? I'm thinking, like, no, they can't have her. <laughs> it, it's just, Why not, bro? Just, as of right now, that just doesn't fit the party. It doesn't fit the party oh. scheme. 
you get your cute little mascot, your your little half sister mascot. But you they know? always just get in the way. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we already I get, have Rudy getting caught. We don't need another person getting caught constantly. That that too. Actually, no. That's a good point too, Strand. Like when you mentioned how, like, because you mentioned in the Discord, like last uh, two weeks ago, when like you were saying you're getting tired of Rudy getting caught. So for me, that's, that's also why, like, it just add on to yeah. like this. This that's why this this arc felt disappointing because like Rudy getting caught again, but like this time we didn't have like anything, tense. anything like tense like or epic coming out from it. It's just yeah. it just felt like. It's just, it just felt like it was too easy. I, I do like the, looks... I do like the like the like was it the support characters that they've been in. Like every time he's gotten caught, I've lo- I've loved the the character that he ends up kind of talking to. Like with the first time when he was in the like the beast village, he got caught or he got caught with the bandit or or the thief. I can't remember his name. Geese. Yeah. Oh yeah, Geese. Geese. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then of course said uh, uh, with this uh, this crazy figure collector guy. That's a, so they've uh, they're both solid. Zandora. Yes, Zandora. <laughs> yeah. So so again, just keep in mind that he's actually uh, what they considered a blessed child. So that's why he's kind of like just like touches special. and bones break. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 special in a sense. I think I have and a then, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little disappointed uh, that he, sorry, but real quick, David, where, that he didn't give him any new figures. I, I thought like, okay, this guy's gonna at least like load him up because he in a sense like was gonna free him or I don't know. Or like teach him ways, or even just join his party right then and there. But gotcha. well, no, but he got he, he got exiled. Remember? So. You want to learn? I was, I was gonna bring that up too. It's like for you know, like the, the blessed child that's supposed to have all this protection, and he sounded like he got exiled pretty easily. Well, it seems like he so. did it willingly. I'm sure he could have probably done Wait. some stuff if he uh, if he uh, yeah. back. I, okay. Did you see, it just breaks that guy's like just uh, arm. I just like just. It made s- <laughs> the ending scene. It sounded like it was like he was exiled against his will. So maybe I was just reading that wrong. No, I mean he oh, was. Yeah, he he was exiled against his will, but it's because of what okay. they did, right? But again, it'll well, you'll you'll see what happens, I guess. But okay, uh, it's just like because they they, they they bring up they they bring it up like the the blessed mm-hmm. child thing. I was thinking like, man, this guy's gotta be important. You'd think that they want someone like that, like in the kingdom, or like like there's something like like really special associated with it but then you just get you get your special child just get exiled so yeah, i yeah. don't know these guys just feel like comedy relief characters <laughs> so, uh, but that can or one of them can do damage the other guy's just absolutely useless <laughs> you're, done with you're that, hoping man. for that we also forgot too that no. uh that um i sorry i forgot to mention this like during one of the, my touching moment part rudy's uh thing was returned it's relic yes relic. Uh, relic plus yes. an addition yeah, so uh, he was reminded of Sylphie, because apparently she's still alive, right? But they haven't found him yet. Yeah. So hopefully that gets Rudy b- back in the mindset of, okay, I got to find the lost people of, uh, of the village. Stuff. Yeah. But so, yeah. Did, 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 okay, did Sylphie give him something before? I, I swear I remember Sylphie giving something to Rudy, like, way back. No. Or, right? No, no, oh, no, she was going to give that to him. She was going to for that's his, right. was okay. it 10th birthday? Yeah. I think it was for his 10th birthday. Yeah. But then that's that's what he received here, right? That's yeah, yeah. It's that, that pendant. That's so right. Yeah, because I remember Sylphie had it. And then I remember like that that the plan was to give it to him. But then I forgot that the you know the whole turning point happened. Which brings me up to my next part. Where I saw the, uh, the preview for the next episode. Which, uh, two? We'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> the first turning point definitely just kind of changed everything. And mm-hmm. I'm assuming Turning Point Two can't be All right. anything good. I kept going back and forth because before I said we're gonna definitely make it to Eris's like kingdom, and then I then we reached this arc. I was like, okay, no, we're not. And then I was proven wrong. So I was basically proven wrong <laughs> twice. <laughs> so Great I don't know. This time we'll finally uh, <laughs> we'll finally actually make it, or we we'll get stuck somewhere else, and I'll be wrong again for the third time. So. We'll see. I'm like opposite of Kuber here. I'm like the anti prophet. I'm like getting <laughs> everything wrong. Yeah, so right, we'll like see right what when, happens. When this all got like big, what can I say? Yeah. Like when it all got kind of uh, resolved this episode, I was like, well, there's one wrong for David. Well, like, I've been I, wrong many, so many times. This, 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 this like oh, show. Right. So yeah. I think I think the dream for the, the mouse is dead. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming sure, to. Sure. Um, I'll also mention like like Lilia and Aisha. I guess they're on the way to Paul or where he set up his headquarters in the, the holy city because you can't really return them back to their village because there's nothing there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, cool. I do remember. Um, do you 
you feel, still think the anime is going to finish where you think it is? Oh yeah. Okay, just, <laughs> okay, just joking. You, you guys have no idea. I was I was so excited, and I was oh I knew it. Like every every episode that comes in, just like cements what my prediction was, and I'm just oh I'm I'm loving it. And then like this is the kind of shit like if I was David, the way that they're they're pacing the the show, that's what makes me want it to read like the the series, right? So like I'm surprised you guys have you guys haven't hopped on the bandwagon yet and just like just start reading the original source, but. Man, guys, it's it's so good. Like every like, there's so much I want to say, but like, I don't know what's up with the show with its foreshadowing, but it it, it teases you so much that I feel like I mean, it's amazing. It, it it gives you it gives something for the new audience to look forward to, and it even gives like the veterans, like the one who knows of the original source, like it teases them, like, hey, you know, I did mean, you see this Easter egg? Did you see that? Like, it I thought it was awesome. I I always appreciate when they do that, so that's that's really nice because. Yeah, but but David, if you were to have read the the the, the source though, you would appreciate it a lot more. Like I was just so excited. Will, okay. This is what I would actually like, probably buy too, because the, I think it's all out, isn't it? Oh, I don't I don't know. Or if it's not all out, know. it's uh it's being um serialized. Uh yeah, like it's being licensed. I'm pretty sure it's licensed by like, Seven Seas, but the light novel. I don't know about the manga. The not the manga is probably someone else. Okay. From what I'm we've, read, we've heard would, from comments to avoid yeah, the manga, I mean, let's go do light novel. I will. I will eventually like read the the light novels because yeah. I enjoy those more. I always like the extra details they always have, even though, even though like this is again it's isekai. So it started off as a web a web novel, but they probably changed a lot of things from the web novel to a light novel. But even still, I still appreciate light novel sources. I did so mention... I'll I'll definitely yeah. read that later on. Before like I used to be like not be able to to like to be patient. Just yeah, I would spoil myself. But now it's like. I just feel like I have so much things like in backlogs, just like either anime or games that like oh. I really I don't feel a, I don't feel a need to like to spoil myself as much as I used to. Like I'm, I'm just because like I feel like I have so much more more things to keep me occupied. Well, so. for me it'll depend. Like if it's like another year before this like the next season comes out, oh man, I have to just read it. But if it's I like mean, if it's like six months, I, I, I think I can make it. I can wait a year. I have other things to keep me occupied. Was it? Was has it been a year since season one, part no, one? No, I'm just, I'm just saying. Season one was winter. Yeah, is winter. I'm just saying, so, like, because this is like, like part one, part two. But if it's like the whole uh-huh. actual second season, then it it's like takes like a year, which could could happen. Since I think what a hero does that all the time. Okay. That it could, it could happen. I would be. I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Like, well, I mean, like, yeah. I don't know how production is going well for this series. We did have to delay for our part two so mm. i'm thinking like it might be if they do see another season it might take longer than a year right. it's not going nearly as but, bad as a lot of the other season that constantly are getting delayed yeah i mean that's just yeah that's COVID. just this anime anime industry man like that too a lot, a lot of productions just falling 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 apart so right. anyway i got nothing i have no i i mean i again it's another episode where i just don't have any kind of predictions I don't know, I don't man. know what like, the I... hell turning point two could be uh, because uh, at the first turning point was completely unex- unexpected. So. Uh, everything I say <laughs> is just wrong, so I don't know I why did. you want a prediction from me. <laughs> Guys, well, it's fun, though. Just just go ahead and throw something out there. Dude. Okay. <laughs> should I, you know, should, the family's okay. slowly coming together. So. Should I double down again for, like, what, the third time now? We're going to finally make it back to Eris' kingdom. Eris will finally realize that, like, her, her grandfather's dead, like, her, her whole family's missing, and then this, and then Rudy has to go fight the the guy who executed it, and, like, the 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 cult behind it that's somehow, like, related to, to the castle in the sky, whatever. Like... See, for me, I just feel like Ares is like Ares getting there and really finding out that her gra- her grandpa is dead. I, I just feel like that's going to be the season ending moment, the very last scene, yes. and then fade to black. Yeah, basically, and just make everybody rage. That's and a that, good that's, prediction, and that's yeah. the moment that I basically said, like, if that happens, then I may have to very strongly consider to read the light. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's a good that's a good that's, prediction. That's I mean, a dick move to end it right there if that happens. <laughs> I just mean. Gotta... You gotta, you gotta tease them. You don't know? gotta grab them by the balls and just, yeah. you know, just tickle the balls a little bit, Actually, right? You know for, to read. We'll say for uh, for turning point two. We'll say like we'll say he gets his mount. You know what? Why, why the fuck not? I've been saying that this entire time. <laughs> okay. Yep. Cool. And then we'll have you have me and my my 
triple down wrong prediction for a third time. So let's see what happens next week. Great time. So, yeah. So I think we're... Oh, that's cool. You have anything else to say? Dude, if if it ends where I think it's going to end, you guys are going to love it, all right? You I guys are going to love I'm it. Already, I don't believe you. I mean, I'm all right. I, I still... <laughs> it is still, like, you know, my favorite... In my anime of the season, it's still, like, my favorite isekai... So. Oh, I was gonna say you should check out all summer ranking. Okay, I'll Plug. watch. Yeah, I watch that. <laughs> That's a different podcast here. I'll think about soon, it soon. Mm. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. So we're ending it for there. So again, thanks to everyone for joining us. Uh, we always appreciate comments because those are you know what we look forward to the most. Like it's always fun seeing those comments. Hey guys, and there's so also, there's also like more discussions happening on our Discord as well. Like David has mentioned, yeah, and a bunch of other anime as well. That if you guys are watching this season and keeping up with, Not I mean, if you're, if you're, yeah, well, I was gonna say for Shukatense, well, if you're anime only, I mean, do Demon Slayer too. Oh, yeah, we'll, Not we'll, for movie we'll bring it up later. The next thing, oh, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, if you're anime yeah. only, you know, like, feel free to put your predictions in the comments too. Those are also fun to read yes. as well. So, yeah, so that'd be it for us. <laughs> Thanks for joining, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.